Hello and welcome to another video. This time I am here again with a great sword, a uh, long sword, sorry, I always call it a great sword. It's terminology I still don't think matters too much, but here it is. I've got only four so far. I haven't been grinding as much as I have in the past, which as you can see, I'm only level 56, whereas the max level is level 60. I've got a couple friends that are already 60, and eventually I'll be there as well. But here we go. I've got, uh, and actually, it's it's good to mention, I, I would be level 60 if the max level 60 had been out when I was playing as level 50. I, I guarantee I would be long past 60. But that's okay. I, I do like grinding. It's pretty fun. But yeah, so um, I only have rare great swords for some reason, long swords. It is very strange. Uh, only the Montante and Hand and a Half models, I guess. Um, but they all look pretty awesome. Um, the Hand and a Half looks a little shorter than the Montantes. This Montante being specifically longer and probably the best great sword I have with Poison Critical. But I already used that one, so I'm going to use a different one. This one's probably my second best, but I'm not going to use that one either. Um, I'm going to use the one that looks the coolest because the vampire versus vampire and attack pyre power isn't too much different. Um, in fact, this has a little more damage, so I'd, it probably doesn't equate to the attack power. Attack power is probably a little bit better than just vampire, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to have the vampire with this one. 116 damage still isn't terrible. Um, ugh. Sorry, got something in my eye. Maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, so I've got this hand and a half sword. Then I also have these two daggers. They're also new models from the update from level 50 and above. Um, so I have this one here, the ice shiv on my left, is it? No, it's my right. <laughs> but yeah, it's this one right here, throw distance and undead damage. Then I've got the other one over here. Uh, and sorry, that was, yeah, ice. I don't know if I said that, might have. But okay, this one is a lot worse. Monster damage doesn't really matter and uh, doesn't have much useful to it, except that it looks really freaking cool. I love the dual blade. I think there's a sword model like this as well, maybe a long sword as well, but... Um, no, this model is just so cool. So I, I had to do it. Had to do it. Um, ice and a cool model. That will do for the daggers. I also have the exo perk of might increase in throw damage by 100%. So yeah, that's what that is. And I'll get right into it. That was probably longer than usual spending on the inventory part of things. I also think I gotta change from, I've been playing a lot of seated, uh, change back to the default, been playing a lot of seated mode because um, just doing the grind, I've been going uh, reload crossbow and just sitting down because after a while standing can be a little tiring and actually it's not even because of that. I just, I don't have the space open that long at a time, so. Now, hmm, I'm thinking about doing a random one. I'll probably, I'll do a random one. I, I have a couple saved, um, but I don't know which one's the good one. I won't worry about the saved ones. We'll just do, do a totally random one. This one looks pretty good. Very small, but good. Um, this one also very small, uh, but straightforward. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little bit bigger would be cool. Yeah, this one, I just take every right turn, it looks like. I'll do this one. Tier 7 difficulty. Maybe I'll fail. Maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, Tier 7 is very difficult, especially with the longsword, because I think this, if not only because of the glitchiness of it, is it's probably the worst weapon in the game at the moment. Especially for being a back weapon, since you can't get any long range weapons aside from aside from daggers, which aren't technically long ranged weapons. I guess they are, but yeah. All right, grab this, teleport down there. I try not to teleport in videos, but it's it's a habit now. When I'm just going through dungeons, grinding to get to the next level, that's what I do. I teleport. So I might might teleport more than 
more than you're used to seeing in my videos. Okay, so yeah, what I tend to do, I'll throw a weapon and then I'll come at the enemy and specifically very important, let me oh, throw this, specifically very important to kill these ice guys before anything. Oh gosh, I'm not missing them. Um, the, like that guy is not too important to get. Let me kill this ice guy too. Okay, guy didn't even die. Oh, come on. Oof. Yeah, I guess this is because I don't have a good perk to do a lot of damage. Because usually I'm using the plus 50%. Uh, I forgot what the perk is called, but whatever the plus 50% perk is for melee damage. That's usually what I use with the longsword. But I decided to give Might a try so that I don't get absolutely screwed over by any of the... Uh, frozen enemies, uh, the frozen long-ranged enemies, because that's usually what gets me. Also, no key? Come on. I don't know if there's a key that's always in this room. I don't think there is. Um, but I, I can kind of just run around and hope that my hand grabs something. There's definitely a key in this room, so maybe I'll just backtrack and get that one. Ugh. Yeah, I can, I can tell that this isn't quite as long. Oh, gosh. Can't let that guy get me. Yeah, it's definitely not as long as the um that poison one. Oh, that was pretty cool. The double hit. Oh, come on, why why can they block things when they're standing up? Kinda silly. Kinda makes sense, but also not really. Come on. So yeah, without the unblockable perk, which I'm still searching for, I have to do a lot of this uh going to the side or waiting for them to attack first to actually hit them. Oh, what in the world? I thought I was done. It's cool that I was able to hit that guy in midair there. A lot of times I'm not able to. Ah. Come on, just die. Do I have... Man, the, <laughs> the sound effects sound like there's a, a critter behind me. Some sort of scorpion or something. But there's not. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any... Any frozen enemies, so I should be good. <laughs> Die! There we go. Oh my gosh. It's endless. Tell me that's it. That's gotta be it. Okay, that's it. Now, I can, in peace, try to find this key that I think is usually on one of these things. But I don't see it. That's weird. Well, I guess it's not weird because they, they added the whole uh, randomizing keys. There it is. I was just I was doing the thing where I held it down until I found it. So, yeah, I'm going to go back real quick, open that chest back here, just because it's tier two. It's not that bad. And it's pretty close. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. That is definitely not an enemy. Or pff, not a useful thing to get. Darn mimic. I wanted something useful there. Yeah, and see, you only get a resurrect, which isn't useful in solo. I think, <laughs> I think in theory, you can resurrect yourself if you throw it up right before you die. But who's got time for that? Like, you're not trying to die, so why would you predict that kind of thing to occur? Okay, there should be two keys in this room. One over here. Sometimes it spawns over there. And one over here. Yeah. I don't know if it's guaranteed to have two keys all the time. I think that's not guaranteed, but it's good. Good when it is, too. Okay. Now I got three keys. Because that darn mimic could have been, could have been two keys. I could have already opened a chest, but no. All right. Oh, I've actually never gone into this room from that angle before. That's pretty cool. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, this, this long sword isn't much longer than regular swords, like the short sword models. So it's kind of weird and awkward. But yeah, I really gotta... Oh, yep. Fun stuff. It's still probably best to, to stab enemies to guarantee that you get the hit. It's still not guaranteed though. Obviously you gotta 
You gotta hit them yourself. Wait, there's still more? What am I looking at? There's a key right here. Used to always be a key there. No longer. There we go. Kill this dude. Oh. Got it. Nice and wobbly hands. Yeah, I think the more... The more you just stand still with this weapon, <laughs> the more likely it is for the, the wobbliness to occur. Or the weird glitchiness, I guess. Wobbliness. Wobbliness probably isn't the right word for it. Yeah, maybe maybe melee would have been better than throwing here for, uh, oh my, for efficiency's sake. Um, it's probably better for survivability to have the daggers, the might for the daggers, so I can kill ranged uh, ice enemies faster. But if you just want to kill things fast, it's probably good to just use one of the damage perks on your melee weapons. And go around whacking these guys with those. There we go. Fantastic. Blow them up. Very satisfying stuff. Okay. Now, up here, I think I might have missed a part. Oh, come on. That hit me? That's a bowl. Okay. Uh, over here, we got some coins. And then I'll come up here. I think there's usually a key up here now. Oh, there's not. Not in one of these cubbies? Interesting. Huh, well, good thing I have a key. The cubbies... Ooh, I like doing this. Um, oh, no! Wow, I heard that guy last second. <laughs> I probably should have turned my volume up, up to hear that guy, but... Oh, well. Um, yeah, so I wonder where the key is. I think there's a guaranteed key in this room. Um, at least somewhere in this room. Not down here. Maybe up here. Uh, nothing. Just some coins. Okay, well, hey. I guess that's fine with me. Um, I think I also... Oh, there's a key here. I also might make... Uh, I mean, I've I kind of been saying that I was going to make more multiplayer videos. And I did. I made two. Um, which is more than <laughs> I, I usually do. However... I think I could be making even more. Um, I would like to do multiplayer at least every other video that I make. It's just a little bit harder to organize. Um, and but, but I was thinking it would be a little easier to organize if I wasn't doing this whole recording setup that I have. Um, I've got a, a very, uh, I guess, consistent but high quality recording setup that Oh, I'm about to die. I don't want to die. High quality recording setup that is very useful. Um, obviously for the quality, but it just makes it much harder for me to get those recordings in. Um, a lot of barriers to entry, I guess. Uh, and I would probably... I'll probably try these multiplayer videos with the native recording with the Quest 3 again cuz for a while I was I did I did start with the native native recording but it was just it was so insanely inconsistent that I I could not tolerate it. It was just too much of a pain to worry about that. So now I just have to worry about a couple extra steps. Kill this dude. Oh. And it's still almost impossible to swing at enemies that are down on the ground with the greatsword. I do feel like it's a... Oh, wow. I feel like it's a little cleaner. Oh, man, I almost died. Whew. I feel like it's a little cleaner. I just knocked my mic off of my face. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so, as you could see, uh, there was some weird stuff that was happening there. That was me grabbing my microphone. Um, but yeah, no, so it does, the attacks, the swings, everything seems to be a little cleaner when the weapon is a little bit shorter. Uh, it's still a long sword, but I guess they call it a sword and a half or something, something like that. 
That room I don't think is useful, so I'll just ignore it. <laughs> Teleport down here. Oh no. Um, oh, I missed. I don't even have a haste. That's okay. I'll just finish it. But yeah, so multiplayer videos. I'll probably try to do some of those with the default recording setup as opposed to what I've got going for me right now. Oh, cool. We got one more chest in here, too. If, if this wasn't the end room, I think I would get a chest. Kill this dude. Nice. I think I would get a tier 3 chest if it wasn't the end room. I think it's a guaranteed to pop up right there. Oh, cool. Die! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Is he dead? I don't think he is. No, he's not. Whoa. That was crazy. Can I keep picking him up? No, I can't. That is very strange. Okay. Don't want to die, though. Oh, I'm at 67. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Kill this guy. Wow. That was right on his head. That was not... There we go. Um, yeah, this room is just so big <laughs> that I can't even see all of the enemies that are spawning. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, see, that, that seems cleaner. Being able to... Alright, we got a lot of enemies. Ugh. Being able to up close fight. Oh, cleaner, but then I am... Mistaking the range it feels like it's supposed to be longer. Yeah. See that that downward strike there definitely seemed like it should have hit. And that poke right there. Oh. Stole some health. Poke. Yeah. See that? It like it pushed him but it didn't even hurt him. So weird. But nice. I am pretty sure that they will the devs will fix this bit of inconsistency from the longsword cuz I think people are loving it for the most part. It's just the slightly weird <laughs> hits that don't register kind of strange stuff. Alright, got a scorpion. See if I can melee this guy as I throw things at it. Yeah, you can just go behind him. Easy as pie. How fast can I hit? The faster I hit, the more glitchy it gets, so I gotta keep it slow. No! Don't run away, scorpion! Alright. Okay, yeah, it's hard to hit that guy there. I did see a discussion, um, I've been having a, a discussion in the Discord about, um, what was it, crossbow versus longsword, which one was more powerful, and, or which one could be more efficient, I guess, powerful and efficient, kind of just everything, um, which one was better, I guess was the, the whole thing, um, but yeah, I'm still... I'm still thinking that the uh, crossbow is the strongest weapon in the game just because it shoots through enemies' blocks. Like, they can't parry it, they can't, their weapons don't get in the way. Um, plus, it's, it's a long range weapon. Those are just, just better than not. Um, and when you reload, all you have to do is this as opposed to like grabbing an arrow all the way all the way behind your shoulder and cocking it back you just bam 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 or to reload you do this once and then you got eight shots and even though those eight shots do a lot less damage than other stuff it's still it's it stacks up you can shoot it so fast that it's basically a machine gun almost semi-automatic kind of thing so yeah i, I still think the uh crossbow is the strongest or at least has the potential to be as long as you hit your shots or at least enough of your shots it's probably going to be the strongest the gr great sword on the other hand um buggy enough and 
it's just not a long range weapon. So I, I could probably kill most of the enemies before I even get to them with the crossbow. Whereas with this, you gotta, you gotta physically be there. And even then you're not going to kill them in one hit. You're probably just going to smack them away from you and you got to go chase them down and all that. But yeah, yeah, no, that was, that was that for this video. I'm still on the search for that unblockable sword. Um, silly how I've only gotten, uh, leveled up six times just about to be seven and i i still only have <laughs> four four great swords it's it's just not a super high chance I, w I wish there was a way to prioritize specific weapons uh when you're out searching for them but maybe that will come maybe my wishes will be fulfilled we will see other than that though i hope you enjoyed the dungeon run and uh, the uh, cool, really cool looking great. I mean, all the all these swords are really cool looking. But hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.